Hello, everyone. My name is Don Bain, and of course, I am the Gadget Professor. We are on show number 213. Today, we have a very interesting gadget. This is it. It's actually a Chromebook. I've never reviewed one of these before. Stay tuned. He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone. It's Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Welcome, everyone, to our show. As I said, we're on episode 213. I have an interesting show for you today, and we're going to get right into it. If you're new to the Gadget Professor, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. You know, the Gadget Professor is now heard in 172 countries around the world, so I have you to thank for that, and I do thank you, and uh, tell a friend to tune in. Uh, you'll find it entertaining, or you could use it to uh, watch and go to sleep at night because I put you to sleep. But uh, in any event, thank you so much for tuning in. The easiest way to get to the Gadget Professor probably is go to iTunes and subscribe on iTunes. If you have a Roku box, we have our own Roku channel, the Gadget Professor. And of course, you can just tune into the website anytime. That would just be uh, thegadgetprofessor.com. If you tune into that to watch the Gadget Professor show, just go down on the right hand side and you'll see the newsletter button there. Put in your uh, email address, and every Thursday evening, as soon as the show is ready, you will get uh, the show notes, which is a synopsis of everything that we talked about during the show. And it's all hot links, so you don't have to take show notes. Tonight, we have a lot of free software, some really cool deals, and uh, you'll want the show notes because it just makes it so easy. Also, you can email me 24 hours a day, seven days a week at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com, thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. I got a ton of email last week. Uh, I'm almost finished. I have about 20 more to get through, and I will get to those and answer all those emails as soon as the show is over tonight. So uh, by the time you're watching this, all the emails should be answered. So thank you so much for doing that. Also, we have a Facebook page that will be in the show notes, and uh, I try to do some interesting things on that. Uh, here's the map that we showed last week, the hack attack map. And uh, we had a lot of views on that. It's really something. And uh, check out last week's episode if you want to get the hack attack map. It's uh, crazy stuff. Also, uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, you can do that at, at Gadget Professor. We tweet about 100, 150 times a day, but uh, we tweet about every new gadget that's out. So if you want to see these gadgets, just go to my Rebel Mouse page because what that does is it takes all the tweets and puts them on the Rebel Mouse page. And again, that's all in the show notes, so you can get to that later. So let's get right into it. Uh, I think the biggest tech news right now for, for this week anyway was the Amazon Prime Day. And uh, this is what it looked like in case you hadn't seen it. But uh, anybody who is a member of Prime, which costs you $100, uh, gets you into, quote, Prime Day. And for the 100 bucks, of course, you get more than that. You're going to get two-day free shipping on pretty much anything that's assigned a Prime uh, allocation, a Prime spot, if you will, a Prime item. Uh, also, you get the uh, Prime Music and uh, the Prime uh, Amazon Prime Video, if you will. So it's not a bad deal, especially if you buy a lot of stuff. It is worth it. And also, you got the Prime Day feature. And I was not too happy with the way they did it, and I'll tell you why. If you noticed on top here, they have Prime exclusive deals of the day and Kindle deals. So you'd be just, uh, you know, scrolling through to find something that caught your eye pictorially. There was no availability to search. For example, if you wanted a, uh, an alarm clock or you wanted a computer or whatever the item would be, you couldn't just search on alarm clocks and see if that was for sale at a discount rate during Prime Day. You had to keep scrolling through this pictorial here, which drove me absolutely nuts. I bought absolutely nothing, nothing. And then uh, what you would find a lot of, if you, let's just say you like this power washer here, if you look below it and you had a look, it said the deal's over. So they're advertising these things and the deal was over. So why even put them up? So uh, here they had, a, and this was a good deal, 130 bucks. Uh, say $50 off on Amazon Echo, but it's a 100% claim the deal is over. So I'm going to refresh uh, this page. I'm actually doing this prime, this prime. I'm actually doing this broadcast late Wednesday night so you can see what I'm talking about with Prime. Now, here is another thing that just drove me nuts 
was that available prime exclusive lightning deals. So these are things that are on sale right now at the moment. So if you again were to scroll through, which is a real pain to find something that you were interested in, and uh, I'm just trying to pick out, let's just say for, for well, let me go to the next page here, It'll make it easier. Um, let's see here. Uh, here's a Sony 16 gig micro vault USB 2.0 flash. That looks great. Well, here they have join the waiting list, which means they're out of them. And if you look below, uh, it's 100% claimed, and they have a 2-hour, 15-minute, and 29-second wait. Well, if it's already claimed, why don't you just take it off there? So they did this all day long, and it just drove me nuts. Here's something you can buy for $9.95. It's 63% claimed. Uh, but it, it, it was just nuts. And then to add to, the, to my frustration, they had upcoming Prime exclusive deals. So, okay, I looked at that, and here's a bunch of stuff. And uh, what it says on the bottom here in green is uh, starts for Prime members in five minutes. So if you wanted this particular watch and you clicked on it in five minutes, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get it. Plus, you had to scroll through everything here to see what was on sale. This one's in 14 minutes. So this was in 24 minutes. So... Everything varied as to when it was going to be available, and usually you forgot about it. So I thought the whole thing was a bunch of baloney. That's just my personal opinion. I did check on Walmart, and uh, that wasn't much better. So uh, I don't know. I, I, I think Black Friday was better. Certainly the excitement and the anticipation of Black Friday uh, was much better and much more exciting than Prime Day, which I thought was a colossal flop. In terms of deals, I don't know anybody who bought anything and wasted a lot of time checking to see uh, what was available. They should have had a search. Okay, so we beat that one to death. Let's move right along here. Now, everybody's trying to figure out how to protect your data and remove your personal information from the Internet. And I've covered these sites many times. Uh, we all know that the one, two, three people, I've covered that site. Uh, look up, look up anyone, PQ, I did that about three months ago, My Life, People Finder. These are all sites that have your personal information, and you wonder how on earth do they get it. Well, they got it because they search giant data banks that are available to probably anybody in the United States. It's public information, and someone put it in a database, and they either bought that database or have the ability to tap into that database. And there's quite a few of these searches. So if you do not want your information on there, whether it's good, bad, or whatever, uh, this is a service. It's called uh, Abine, A-B-I-N-E, and this is a free service. Uh, you can go premium. They do have a, a premium service, but they do have a 14-day trial of the premium service. And essentially what it does is, below, here's instructions on how to remove your public records from the leading data sites. It can take hours to remove this for one person. Don't have the time? Check out Delete Me. That's the name of this, Delete Me, our privacy service that does the tough work of removing your private information from the web. We can remove most of these listings for you. So essentially, you're going to register once, and you're going to click on a button, and Delete Me is going to delete all of your private information on all of these sites. So it's a pretty cool uh, site to uh, check out, and it's basically like an aggregator that will remove your personal data. So you may want to check that out. If you like it, you can go premium, and they have other services. So uh, I think that's something you may be interested in. Now, here is a, a great tool, I think, a great app, and this happens to be available for both the iOS and the Android system. Uh, it is called Military Cost Cutters, and I absolutely... Uh, Love everybody in the military who served our country, uh, whether you agree with what our country does or doesn't. These people uh, really gave a lot of time and energy and their lives put on the line to uh, keep us free, which we appreciate. I appreciate. And in any event, this app appreciates it too. Uh, it's the new version 2.0. Military Cost Cutters connects military-friendly businesses with veterans. What a super idea. The platform that allows user unlimited features from anywhere being a member has never been so easy, and it's completely free. So what it will do, essentially, is tell you who's offering discounts, and it actually shows you on the right-hand side here what the discounts are. So uh, all that's pretty good, and uh, as I mentioned to you before, this is available uh, on the Droid platform and on the iOS platform, so check that out. Here's another freebie for you, which I really like, and 
for free, this is a pretty good deal. Uh, they also have a, you know, a, a, a premium version which you can buy, and a lot of people will buy those because they find that the uh, free version, the light versions are good, but they want the other features, and it's worth paying for the other features. But this light version, 2.1 of Rainlander, which is really a calendar, a desktop calendar, is free, and this does a terrific job. It has events and tasks, alarms, uh, its standards are based, uh, all the data is stored on a standard iCalendar and it gives you the format. It's highly customizable, which is what I like. It's localized, it's platform independent. So you can run this pretty much on any platform, which means you can work it on Windows, uh, you can work it on the Mac, it even works on Linux. So it's very versatile in terms of what it will run on. And here's some screenshots and you get a feel for just how nice this calendar is. So there's all different ways that you can set to view this calendar. It has your icons on the bottom and uh, you can click on something, make an appointment and it's it's really quite, quite versatile, totally free and I really, really, really like it. It has a lot of advanced features, a lot of what they call skins, which is basically what, the, what it will look like. So check this out. It's totally free. It's called Rainlender Lite. And I think you will like that, especially if you don't have a calendar that you like. Speaking of free, whenever I'm on a plane, I haven't done it because I don't have the patience to do it, but a lot of people play solitaire. So I came across, actually someone mentioned this app to me in an email, and uh, it's called 250 Plus Solitaires. And you got it. It's free. It will work on iTunes. It's available on iTunes. Also available in the Google Play Store. Totally free. And this is 250 plus, actually it's 253 different types of solitaire games. It also has other games, Free Cell, Klondike, Canfield, Tri-Peak, Scorpion, Spider, Pyramid, and many, many more. So check this out. Uh, it's a lot of fun if you have nothing to do and are going bonkers on the plane or on a car ride. Uh, might be great for your kids or even for you, so uh, you'll want to check that out. Rolling right along here with our freebies tonight, and we have a lot of them. Uh, this is called Browser Cleaner. And specifically what it will do, have you ever loaded something, a program on your machine, and you want the program, but all of a sudden after you're done loading it, you have all these crazy pieces of, tool, of, of toolbars floating around, stuff that you never saw before because the stuff added some nasty uh, programs, if you will, to the toolbar or elsewhere on your machine. This will remove all the two bore two. This will remove all the two bar. I don't know. I don't drink really, but I might start. This is going to remove your toolbars. Toolbars. You try saying that. It's not easy. It will remove your toolbars from all your browsers. It will reset your homepage. How many times have you loaded something on your machine, and all of a sudden you had Google as your default search engine, and bam, now it's something you never heard of. This will restore all that. And you can also get rid of unwanted Windows startup programs. Totally free browser cleaner. You definitely want to check this out. It will show you how to remove the AOL toolbar for those people who are still using AOL, like my cousin. And uh, there's a million toolbars and add-ons removed per month by this program. And it works real well. I did load it on a laptop this week. And uh, boom, it, it, it just did its job. So uh, I highly recommend that. So there you go. A lot of freebies tonight. And now we're going to take a look at the gadget of the day, if you will, or the item of the day. And uh, it's actually a Chromebook. And the way I got hooked on this, because I'm not a lover of Chromebooks, uh, but they do serve a function. So you're asking, why did I buy it? That's a good question. I'll get into that in a minute. But the way I found out about this was on CNET, and uh, they had the CNET cheapskate. So uh, that's a good thing, and it's a bad thing. But every day, they send you the coolest deals in town. And I got to admit, there's some really good deals on that. And sometimes you just buy something you don't know why you bought it. So I'm very cautious of that. So why did I buy it? I bought it because it was a phenomenal price. It was very functional, and uh, it was tough to beat. And I bought it for my granddaughter, who's three. What? was I thinking? What was I thinking? So I got the Chromebook, and uh, again, it was dirt cheap. It works flawlessly, but I, as I was using it, I really liked it, and I said, wait a minute, my granddaughter's three. She can't read. She can't write. Like, she can work the iPad really well, but it's, it's swiping. So I don't think I'm going to give it to her. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. 
<laughs> but I'll figure that out later. In any event, if you're looking for a, a, a notebook that's light, very portable, and real functional, this is the one at a great price. And this particular deal actually is still available. So let's take a look about at, at what the uh, the Chromebook will do. And this, this just gives you a perfect synopsis. Uh, these things don't slow down over time. Uh, they have the uh, Google Chromebooks. Uh, the Chromebooks have the uh, uh, operating system already built into it. So there's not much you can add to this, which is a huge disadvantage. So these things won't slow down no matter what you try to do. They'll always keep a fast speed, if you will. And there's no screens of death. You'll never see a sudden blue screen of death. Why? Because the operating system is totally controlled and it, you cannot get into it. They don't get infected with viruses. They don't get infected with spyware, malware, ransomware can't do it the operating system doesn't allow it so there's a lot of advantages to having this type of a device if you have a child or a teenager and you don't have a lot of bucks to spend this is a good deal and it's actually uh, an alternative to a tablet now some people may debate that because of course on a tablet an iPod or anything else that you're using uh, you can add software to this the only thing you can do is use the Google Apps, which is not necessarily a bad thing because it's going to focus you on doing work. So if you want to do email, if you want to do Facebook, YouTube, Netflix, Evernote, and so on, because you can accomplish all those things from a browser, this is what this type of notebook is for. Yes, you can watch movies on it. Yes, you can use Google Docs to do spreadsheets, uh, word processing, uh, pretty much anything that's on Google Docs. You can look at your photographs. This will do a phenomenal job for a very, very low price. Now, the other thing that it, that it has in terms of functionality is it has a Celeron processor, which is not the best in the world. But again, this is what I call fine-tuned. In other words, the Google Chrome operating system and the uh, Celeron processor match each other, and they, they work well in conjunction, and it prevents you from putting things on it that will slow down the system. So that, that's a good thing. It's pretty much totally cloud-driven. So if you don't have an Internet connection, it's not a good thing. This does come with a really fast NIC card, an Internet card. It does have Bluetooth. It has some other great features also. It has a 3.0 USB port on one side, uh, and on the other side, you also have a headset jack, which is great, fantastic for watching movies, fantastic, fantastic for streaming movies and watching YouTube, and again, this is only 109 bucks. Now, some of the other advantages that this has, in addition to being light, uh, it comes with an HDMI port, so if you wanted to, uh, I'm sorry, if you wanted to put this into a HDTV, you can do that and watch your movie right from this on a giant screen. It will definitely do that. So this has a long battery life. It has up to three times a three times faster connection than the 802.11 uh, configuration that they're using for Wi-Fi now. So it really does pick up the signal and lock onto it, the wireless signal, quite well. Uh, it's ultra light and thin, as you can obviously see. Uh, it has a fast boot up. Fast boot up by uh, what I mean is you turn it on, it goes on. It's, it's, it's pretty much instant. I did not show you the uh, back of this, which essentially has the power supply, which I'll show you it comes with it. And also the HDMI port is on the back here. So if you want to hook it up to the TV set, there's where you'd plug in your HDMI cable. Now, in terms of on and off, I don't know how much you can see, but uh, I'll, just, I'll just close it down. Okay, I mean, there it is. And now I'll... I'll go back and turn it on, bam, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, you can enter in your password because whatever you have on your desktop or your other laptop and you're in Chrome, this will instantly lock into that and pick up just where you left off. Uh, I haven't found really anything that I didn't like about it other than you can't load software on it, but you, you can perform uh, work task, which I frequently do. Also, I did try to stream several movies on it uh, from Netflix and also uh, from the internet. Flawless. The sound was great. Uh, the picture is pretty good because you've got, a, I think, a 10.1 screen here. So uh, it, it is very, very good quality. Now, 
where do you get this? It's it's actually on it's on eBay. And uh, here it is. It's the Acer 11.6. It wasn't a 10.1. It's 11.6 inch screen, Chromebook laptop, two gigs, uh, uh, a two gigabyte, 16 gig of RAM, and the model number is CB3-111-C8. U B and uh, I'll I'll tell you it is refurbished. You have a 90-day warranty on it. I've been pounding on this for the last week and I have not found one thing wrong with it. It works real real well. So that's the poop on this. Uh, is it better than a than a uh, a tablet? It really depends on what you want to do. I like this screen better than a tablet screen. Uh, in terms of holding it, 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 you know, the screen is there. I really, really like, to me, one of the big advantages of this is the keyboard. Uh, I hate using a tablet and typing on a tablet. Yes, I know you can buy an external keyboard that's Bluetooth, so on and so forth. Uh, this comes with Bluetooth, so uh, you can pair it up real easy. I think for the 109 bucks, it's really a great value, and I, I give it very high rating, surprisingly. The other thing that I like about it is I could just pick it up and just throw it in my briefcase or my, you know whatever I have and, and bang. This will fit in my camera case real nice. So it's a it's a great deal for the price. And I think there are many situations, at least for me, where I prefer the keyboard. I prefer a little bit bigger uh, screen and the laptop just won't cut it. For someone, a student who really doesn't have a lot of money and they're just doing the basic things, email, surfing the web, uh, doing tasks and assignments that involve spreadsheet, word processing, anything that, that Google offers. So what we'll do is we'll just look up, uh, we're going to go Google Apps. If you look here, you can see that you have uh, Google+, Plus, Mail, Calendar, Drives, Docs, Spreadsheets, Slides, Sites, Groups, Contact Us, uh, Photos, AdWords, Translate, News, Maps, YouTube. You get the general idea. As a matter of fact, what you could do with this is... If you take your smartphone in your car and you can send out a Wi-Fi signal that this will pick up, you can actually use this as a phenomenal GPS. You just go to Google Maps and uh, now you got a big screen. Instead of squinting at that little cell phone, little smartphone, you now have a giant size GPS for 109 bucks. Uh, a lot of neat things you can do with this. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back next Thursday evening with a brand new episode of The Gadget Professor. Have a great week. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.